Well, new here at 6 o'clock, Boston police are operating with a major staff shortage right ahead of St. Patrick's Day. We've been showing you the workforce shortage among first responders in Boston, and today WBZ's Louisa Muller asked the mayor and the police commissioner what they're doing to fix it. The St. Patrick's Day parade in Boston will be full length this year, but the police force charged with keeping it safe is at a fraction of its full force. Does that concern you? As far as a major event like this, whether it's this event, the marathon, um, it takes all our department resources to do it. On Monday, I asked Commissioner Michael Cox about the state of Boston police staffing. There are roughly 1,600 officers right now when it should be close to 2,000. Over the last four years, the department lost close to 400 officers to retirement. That's according to the Boston Police Patrolmen's Association. There's been, an, you know, certainly a loss of, of love for this job. Earlier this year, Commissioner Cox called the situation dire and put out a call for police officers from other departments to transfer to Boston. He's not changed the requirement that Boston police officers live in the city for 10 years. So the residents, certainly, you know, that's the, the, the discussion with, with, with us, us and the mayor. Again, I, I, even if we did, I don't know how much of an impact that that would be right now. There's a class of new officers that could start at Boston Police the beginning of next year. The department's also in the process of hiring 60 cadets, but the union says that's just a band-aid. Who is going to want to move to Boston from a community where their offices are paid well, they're respected by their elected officials? President of the union Larry Calderon says Boston police should remove the residency requirement because the cost of living is so high in the city. He also says morale in the department is the worst he's seen in decades and officers are getting burned out. Officers know when they start their four day on two day off rotation that they're going to work doubles their four days that they're here and that starts and kicks off this Sunday with the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Both Calderon and Cox can agree on one thing, improving public perception of the police will help them hire. We're asking to be publicly, vocally appreciated. To make sure that this is always a, a place where young people want to join to help because that is all we're here to do. In Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.